Hello, on behalf of the Army Soldier Records Branch, welcome to the fourth video segment on the Record Review Tool in iPerms. In the previous segment, we demonstrated how to conduct a personnel record review with the soldier present in iPerms. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to do a finance records review with the soldier not present and a finance record review with the soldier unavailable. This review will be conducted using the most current leave and earning statement or the unit commander's finance report and the requirement documents list located on our website. Conducting a finance record review with the soldier not present. The purpose of conducting an independent review is to enable record managers to conduct the annual record review on a soldier even though they are not physically pre present at their desk and are unable to do so. The soldier could be in another office, another post, another state, or halfway around the world. As long as the soldier has access to a computer with a CAC reader, they have the ability to do their portion of the review independently from the reviewer. Finance Record Review Soldier Not Present Follow the steps for initiating a review. Select Initiate Review at the bottom of the page. When the pop-up box appears asking if the soldier is present, select No. An email will be sent to the soldier letting them know a review has been initiated on them. If the record manager is ready to do their portion of the review, they would select the Open the Review button at the bottom of the screen. When the review detail screen opens, the record manager will select the document tab. When a record manager selects the first document, a pop-up box will appear asking again if the soldier is present. Select No. The record manager will then go through the documents following the same procedure as was demonstrated in the soldier present video. Once the record manager has completed their portion of the review, they will select the signature tab. If the reviewer's signature box is yellow, and you do not see the green soldier signature box, this means the soldier has not completed their portion of the review and the record manager cannot do anything further to this review. Finance Record Review Soldier Not Present Soldier Portion The soldier will receive a system generated email stating that their record manager has initiated a finance record review. The soldier will log into iPerms and either will be taken directly to their record or on the main iPerm screen will select Soldier View My Own Record. The soldier will select Reviews tab at the top of their record. In the left navigation, there are two folders, Reviewers and Tutorial. The soldier should select Tutorial tab and look over the how-to guide that is specifically written to guide them through the review. After the soldier goes over the how-to guide, they will select the Reviews folder. They will see a table that has Review Type, Status, Due Date, and Action. They will select Open Review button under Action. The soldier will perform their portion of the review by looking at each document and making any comments in the soldier comment box that they want the record manager to see missing documents, misfiled documents, etc. After the soldier has viewed all the documents and have made comments regarding errors, they will select the soldier signature box and CAC sign. Once the record manager receives an email stating that the soldier has completed and signed the review, the record manager would go to look up review, enter the soldier's social security number, select the signature tab, and sign their portion. Conducting a finance record review with the soldier on available. If for some reason a soldier is unable to complete a review, the record manager has the option of conducting the review as a soldier unavailable. The steps to conducting a soldier unavailable review are as follows. The record manager would initiate the review and conduct it the same way as they would as an independent review. 
After the record manager completes their portion of the review, they will select the Signature tab and select the drop-down menu under the Soldier Unavailable section. There are five different selections that the record manager can choose from. Deployed. This would be used if the soldier is deployed and does not have access to a computer with a CAC card reader. If a soldier is in a FOB with S1 support or has access to a computer with a CAC card reader, they can perform an independent review. Hospitalized. If a soldier is hospitalized for long-term care and does not have access to or is unable to use a computer with a CAC card reader. Transitional leave. A soldier on transitional leave is not required to come back to complete the record review. One should have been done during out-processing. AWOL self-explanatory. Other. If the record manager selects other, they must enter an explanation in the box that appears to the right in blue as to why the review is being done as a soldier unavailable. Several reasons for utilizing soldier unavailable are the review is being done on an ROTC cadet that does not have a CAC card, the review is being done on a soldier who is in civilian confinement, the soldier is a TPU member and is being discharged as an unsatisfactory participant. The soldier unavailable option should be used as a last resort to complete the record review. It is not to be used as an alternative due to inadequate planning. This concludes the fourth video segment on the record review tool. The fifth video segment will demonstrate the steps to initiate a problem case and running reports.